Ladies and gentlemen, this is Internet Personality Vangelis, and I am returning to Tony Stark's closet for a look at the limited release suit from Rebel Tech Sci-Fi's offerings, the Mark IV suit from the opening act of Iron Man 2. This Figaro exclusive came via the R&D division of HLJ. While the Mark VI came in your usual fancy pants Rebel Tech Sci-Fi box with all its colors and flaps and things, the Mark IV's identical plastic tray comes in... A cardboard box. At least there's a whole lot of writing on it. Red text on brown backing, though, that's, uh... That's pretty earthy. The primary difference in sculpting is the new chest piece, which bears a circular arc reactor, rather than the Mark VI's triangular one. It actually looks a bit more layered and detailed than the VI's to me. Score for the four! As for paint apps, the Mark IV makes very liberal use of the shiny red paint found on the Mark VI. There's a lot more, as the Mark IV's deco is way more red, and pretty much lacks the Mark VI's silver detailing. I've always preferred the Mark IV's colors a tad more, as I found the silver to stick out a bit too much visually. That and I just really like red and gold. This quadratical iteration of Tony Stark's signature armor comes with the exact same accessory loadout as the Mark VI. The only notable difference is that the Mark IV's blast-off base and repulsor blast effects parts are a lot more yellow, and slightly more translucent. Articulation is absolutely identical to the Mark VI. As I said in that review, while the smooth motion universal hip joints do a lot to help out, the semi-limited clicky nature of the Reveltech joints are more often starting to get in the way of finer posing options, especially in the case of a humanoid character like Iron Man. Also, one of the hip joints was paint stuck and required a bit of exacto knife work to loosen up, but that may just have been on mine. Oh man, Kyoto really is out to get me. Paint sticking my joints, ninjas coming down from my ceiling. They know all about my qualms with the Rebel Techs. <laughs> Being practically identical figures aside from their boxes, chest pieces, and effect part hues, the decision of purchasing the Mark IV really comes down to whether or not you prefer it over the Mark VI. That is, if you prefer yellow effect parts over orange ones, or prefer a circular arc reactor over a triangular one. If you're going completest on Reveltech Iron Man, then I can assure you that the Mark IV is just as physically effective as the Mark VI. If you just want a Reveltech Iron Man, it's pretty decent, though the Mark II and Mark III releases have the added glimmer of an LED in the chest. Anyway, this has been Internet Personality Vangelis. I hope this video has helped you somehow, because I've got to fly. Jarvis, and recording. It feels real when I pretend.